Hi everyone, welcome back to Nude Wellness. As you can tell, today's just audio. It's like 9 p.m. here. Um, I am tired. I have my wet hair wrapped in a towel on my head. I've just come from the gym and I just can't be asked putting on makeup. So it's just audio. That's the vibe we're going for today. But I believe tomorrow I have one more video that I owe you. So I'll jump on camera tomorrow. Um, if you're new here, hi, hello. Welcome to Nude Wellness. I like to talk about manifesting and the law of assumption. Um, and yeah, this is the place where we strip away your limiting beliefs. Before I dive into things, my disclaimer as always, your reality, your rules, anything I say in my videos, they're just my assumptions of how the law of assumption functions in my reality. Take what resonates, discard what doesn't, you are in charge. Drill that into your head, please. You are in charge. Today, I want to talk about judgment. First of all, stop judging what other people are manifesting. I'm sure most of you aren't because remember, if you're judging other people, then you're pretty much judging yourself because we're all one consciousness. Okay, some people want to manifest a million dollars. Some people want to manifest a quiet life. Some people want to manifest being in a relationship. Other people are very happy manifesting being single and having a happy life being single. Some people want kids. Some people don't. Like, it's all cool. They can have whatever they want. Just because you don't have 10 mansions, $10 million, um, and whatever else you think qualifies as successful manifestation doesn't mean that you're a failure. Doesn't mean that you're not worthy or a success story when it comes to manifestation. Everything is a manifestation. And remember, you may start out wanting to manifest something and then change your mind, and that is okay. You're in charge here. You get to decide. You don't owe anyone an explanation. If you're manifesting something and then you're like, you know what? I don't really want that thing anymore, whatever reason it is. You don't have to explain to anyone that you don't want to do it anymore. You just go, no, I don't want to manifest that, consciously manifest that anymore. I'm going to focus on something else because your focus is your currency. The second thing is stop judging how other people's manifestation unfold. Say someone manifests a car, but the way that they manifest a car is through manifesting a loan to be approved for that car. That still counts as a manifestation. Just because the car didn't fall out of the sky into the person's front lawn, that means, oh, now it's not a manifestation. Like it's still a manifestation just because it wasn't an out of thin air manifestation. So stop judging one, what other people are manifesting and two, how it unfolds in their reality. The same thing goes for yourself. Okay. Everything is a manifestation. Everything you see and experience in your reality is a manifestation. So stop judging how it's unfolding and stop judging so early. This is the next thing. Stop judging how the bridge of events is playing out. So we're in the middle and the opposite is happening right now. And you're going, oh my God, it's failing. Like I literally failed my manifestation. I can't do this. Like, can I actually do this? No, I can't. Like this is, this is crap. This is taking too long and this sucks and I'm never going to get what I want. Why are you placing that judgment on the current circumstances when we know the 3D is a bunch of lies? We know the 3D is delayed and you should be focused on the end. Why are you judging how this manifestation is unfolding? Huh? You shouldn't be doing that. Stop judging. Another thing is stop comparing your movement to other people's and then getting upset about it. First of all, you should realize that they're in your reality. So if they're having success in your reality, that means that you've had an amazing part to play in that. Like that is incredible. Okay. So they're your signs, birds before land. They're your movement to go, hey, you're next. That's what you should be saying. Oh my God, my friend just got into a relationship. I'm next. Oh my God, my... My mom just won all this money. I'm next. My da 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 da. My colleague, like this happened for them. Oh my God, I'm next. Like that's what you should be saying. You shouldn't be judging and then getting jealous. Like there is enough to go around because it's all creation. There's, there's no scarcity. Your subconscious mind is pushing out what you dominantly think. So you don't need to be comparing and be comparing your manifestations, comparing how long it takes for you compared to someone else. Like everyone has a different journey. Some people really need to work on their confidence at believing that they are the freaking God of their reality and they're in charge. Some people find it very easy to not waver and stay very steadfast with who they are. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get what I want. And it's not a big deal for them. And they're like, yeah, I'm just going to go live my merry life knowing I'm going to get what I want. Other people, they have to kind of put a bit more effort into getting there. So everything unfolds perfectly for everyone. So stop judging how long it's taking you compared to someone else. And oh my God, I'm failing and I'm not a great man manifester because it's taken me three months and that person it took them three weeks or three days like it doesn't matter it it literally doesn't matter you should be so focused on your own life and your own manifestation that you're not even phased by them and again if you see success in someone else in your reality that's your sign that you are next I really don't want you comparing your movement to someone else's and then downplaying your movement or downplaying manifestations in general that's not what you're meant to be doing 
Okay, I want you to be celebrating like, yes, I did this. And if I can do this, then I can do that. And I can do that. And I can do that just as easy. That's what I want you to be doing. I don't want you to be going, oh, but I only got this much movement with this manifestation, but they got like a heaps more movement than I did. And it was a shorter amount of time. Like, what am I doing wrong? I'm a failure. Or you know what? It's not that big of a deal. My manifestation, like, yeah, like I got the car, but I manifested getting the car, but my auntie kind of gave me money towards it. And so I didn't manifest it just out of thin air. Who freaking cares? You still got the car. Like it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter how it all unfolds. You're meant to be your biggest hype girl, your biggest hype guy. You're literally meant to be your biggest cheerleader. You're meant to be cheering yourself on all the way and just knowing that you're going to get what you want. So stop belittling and downplaying your creations because that's so hurtful. That's literally so hurtful. Think of it as like, that's so hurtful to your God self that you're just like, yeah, like whatever. Like, yeah, like I did this or, oh yeah, that movement was great, but Nah, it's not what I wanted. And you then you start shitting on your movement. Why are you doing that? Like you should be excited and be like, yes, I know. Like this is this is encouragement for me to keep going. So stop judging. Stop judging other people. Stop judging yourself. Stop judging how everything unfolds. Stop judging too early as well. And you're going, oh my God, this has failed. Stop comparing your movement and your success compared to someone else's. Stop doing all of that. Send to yourself and just get on with everything what you need to be doing rather than wasting all that energy judging and looking at other people and making yourself feel crappy. You should be saving that energy to be on your mental diet, doing your affirmations, inner conversations, visualizing, scripting, daydreaming, whatever your conscious technique is, and just knowing into being that you're going to get what you want and staying in that God state as much as possible. Do you have to be perfect? No, you don't. We already know this, but let's make this fun and easy again, hey? Let's stop looking at the 3D so much and then getting upset. Let's really just be focused in our imagination because we know our imagination is where it's at. For the past like four days now, I've been having the best time playing in my imagination and basking in my imagination. And I literally got a message today from one of the girls in the, it's in the end group where we're only talking from the end. Um, I believe I posted it in my community tab um, a couple days ago or whenever it was. And I'm having such a great time. And one of the girls has already got like big movement and it's only been a couple couple days and we've just been playing in our imagination. It's been so fun. And I've just been feeling really happy being able to talk to like like like-minded people and be able to do like, it's like play pretend, but for adults. So it's been incredible. So if you still want to join that, you can, we finish, is it next Wednesday? Um, So you've still got like another week to go and you can join us. I also have coming up October 14th. This is a four week Voxer broadcast. It is called Crack the Whip. Details will be in the description below. There'll be the link, but essentially it is daily accountability and tough love. So if you resonate more with a, like a a tougher approach. Like I'm not holding back here. I'm going to be telling you what you need to hear every single day. Okay. I'm going to be giving you accountability. I'm going to give you my opinions on manifestation in general, maybe manifest the manifestation community, what I'm currently processing, any other downloads or thoughts or whatever I need you to hear. You'll be hearing from me on a daily basis. So that starts October 14th. Details are in the description below. Coaching as always, if you want extra help and I will see you tomorrow. Um, on camera. I'll speak to you then. Toodles. Bye.